Cynthia Leone Slosh was born on Monday, April 12, 1948 in Kingston, Jamaica and grew up in Pembroke Hall. She attended school at Trenchtown Primary and later attended Arden High School where she participated in music classes. After completing her school years, the young Cynthia Slush kept a focus on music. Young and talented, she dreamt of being a famous singer in the music industry, even a superstar singing in front huge applauding audiences. Cynthia Slush showed off her singing ability when and wherever she could. In the 1960s, she participated in the Maritone Talent Search started by Winston Blake, the man who would later become her husband. He later produced some of her biggest hits, including the 1982 cover song, Send Me the Pillow That You Dream On. It was not until the early 1970s that Cynthia's recording career started when she recorded the song Love Me Forever, a song written by Harold Butler. She went on to record more songs including Words Are Impossible, Red Rose, I Won't Cry, Nightfall, and Hurry to Me. In the year 1976, when Cynthia Slush was only 28 years old, her first album was released titled Ready and Waiting. Ready and Waiting was released in September of 1976 and consists of 10 songs. The album was not much of a success, but it was Cynthia Slush's first big achievement. The next two years after the release of her first album, Cynthia did mainly cabaret, performing in hotels across Jamaica. She also performed in other countries such as Mexico, Canada, Britain, United States of America, and Cayman Islands. But even after the release of her first album, Cynthia Slush did not take on singing full-time. For some time, she worked at the Jamaica Telephone Company as a telephone operator. Later, in the 1980s, she worked as sales director at United Bedding. In the year 1977, Cynthia Slush married the man she truly loved, Winston Blake, a handsome record producer, promoter, and sound system operator. The couple went on to have their first child, Andre Blake, and in 1984, their second child, Divine Blake. Cynthia Slush carried herself with dignity and was treated with respect through her lifetime. In her career, she shared the stage with famous local and overseas entertainers and even toured overseas with Byron Lee and the Juggernaires. In the year 1992, her second album was released titled Love Songs Are Forever. The album consists of 12 songs. Among the 12 songs are You Look Like Love, Yoti Cairo, and Surround Me With Love. The following year, 1993, her third album titled This Is Love was released and consists of 10 songs. The other albums were released after her death. Six years after the release of her third album, the death of Cynthia Slush happened suddenly but also peacefully. 
on the evening of February 25, 1999, Cynthia and her husband were sitting in a sofa at their home. She leaned into the welcoming arm of her husband and at some point she left this world without a sound. Soon the doorbell rang. Her husband Winston Blake, thinking she was asleep, lift her up to take her to the bed. The dead weight of her body and loose swing of her head made it clear to him. Cynthia Slosh had died of natural causes. The funeral for the late Cynthia Slosh was held on Sunday, March 7, 1999 at the National Arena. In attendance were entertainers, family, friends, and fans. Officiating minister was the Reverend Ernley Garden. Alright guys, so I am coming to you from the Dovecot Memorial here in St. Catherine and I will be showing you the grave of Cynthia Sash. So Cynthia Slash left us with so much beautiful music, music that we can play in at our weddings, at our parties, our, you know, wherever we wish to play them, you know, in our bedrooms, you know, she left us with so much beautiful songs, you know. Her memories will live on through her songs. But here I am at her graveside side here at Dovecot Memorial Park. Right here, Cynthia Slush. And it says Cynthia L. Slush Blake, your laughter and music forever surrounds us with love. We are eternally chained to your memory. April 12, 1948 to February 25, 1999. So this is the grave of Cynthia Slush Blake. Blake, of course, she got that name from her marriage to Winston Maritone Blake. Um, he died in 2016. So this is the grave of Cynthia Slush right here at Dovecot Memorial Park a great and beautiful singer she was I could not be doing this, this series without um, you know mentioning her <laughs> I have to come to Cynthia Slush um, grave and this is where it is since 1999. 
right guys so thanks for watching and remember as i always say subscribe like comment any of those things and you'll be seeing more videos as interesting as this